Journalists and their supporters took to the streets today to protest against what they see as dwindling press freedom and freedom of speech here in Hong Kong. According to the rally organizers, around 6,000 people took part in the event, while the police put the number at 1,600 at the peak of the demonstration. Evelina Lung reports. A show of support today for press freedom and freedom of speech in Hong Kong. Media workers and their supporters took part in the event, organized by the Hong Kong Journalists Association and other groups. I would say this is the worst time we're having. Uh, the basic law promises us press freedom. In reality, it's a different thing. Uh, uh, interviews were barred, uh, finished pages were completely removed, um, columnists were fired, uh, photos were added for di different kinds of reasons. And as a budding journalist uh, in the future, I think uh, it is time to uh, say something to uh, protect uh, the interests of Hong Kong people. Uh, I think in the past few incidents in Hong Kong, uh, say the uh, dismiss of uh, Ms. Lee and also the change of the ed chief editor of uh, Ming Po, I do think that is uh, you know the narrowing of the freedom of speech in Hong Kong. If I don't come uh, come over here, I feel I don't have the chance to come anymore. Uh, just uh, because it's about our freedom of speech and like we don't want the government to like. Uh, just press on us for everything we know. The protesters marched from Cheddar Garden to the chief executive's office, all wearing blue ribbons. The rally organizer says this blue ribbon symbolizes press freedom. It called on the supporters to keep this ribbon on even after today's rally to show their support for press freedom in Hong Kong. Some media workers made speeches outside the CE's office, and the protesters tied blue ribbons to the gate before dispersing peacefully. However, the government wasn't without support today. A group held a forum outside the central government offices today to discuss about media ethics in Hong Kong. Because I think that this is a time for us to say something to represent the citizens with another kind of voice. We have to raise out another kind of voice. In response to today's protests, a spokesperson for Lun Chen Ying's government said the CE and his team respect press freedom and the freedom of speech, and the government will continue to work hard to protect these core values. The spokesperson added in relation to personnel changes in certain media organizations, the administration will not interfere in editorial freedom, independent operation, and internal management of media companies. Evelina Lang, TVB News.